I know I don't need to convince you to go to Iceland. Glaciers, volcanoes, black sand beaches, northern lights, waterfalls, hot springs. Iceland kind of speaks for itself. The only problem is that when people are planning their trips to Iceland, they're usually only going to the most popular places. Reykjavik, the Golden Circle, South Iceland, and then flying away. This leaves those areas of Iceland so busy. But what you may or may not know is that there are still places of Iceland that are less traveled and just as beautiful. And the good news is, is that you have me because I want to tell you about those places. Oh yeah, hidden gems, genie's gems, it's all good. Hey Team Iceland, my name is Jeannie and I'm your tour guide for all of the things Iceland planning. Today we have an awesome topic and that is the hidden gems of Iceland. I'm talking about the places that not a lot of people go to, but that you should go to. I'm excited about this topic because the tourism in Iceland has just boomed over the last five years and that is bringing like, I don't know, somewhat of like 2.5 million tourists to Iceland per year. That is a lot of people in a little old country of only 320,000 people. Personally, my favorite thing to do exploring Iceland is going out and finding those places where the tourists are not. So nothing against you fine people, but I love finding the hidden gems. And that's what we're talking about today. All of those less traveled places. So let's get into it. First up are the East Fjords. If you're looking for a really slow pace of travel and almost zero tourists, then you need to head to the East Fjords. The ring road actually cuts off these fjords, and so not a lot of people think to detour and take the fjord route. It does take a lot more time, but it is so incredibly beautiful. I suggest taking your time and weaving in and out of the fjords and stopping at all of the small little towns. Next up are the highlands. The highlands have some of the most amazing scenery in the whole country. Some of the highlands have gorgeous, lush, green mountains and sprinkled with some glaciers here and there like Thorsmark. So usually the highlands are for the more adventurous type and you do need very specific vehicles to get to those areas. And also usually you can only travel to the highlands between June and September. But this is an absolute paradise for those that are avid hikers and want to get away from the crowds. I love the highlands and there's so much to explore in this area. Next up are the Westman Islands or Vestmanair. So you can escape the busy south coast by just jumping on a ferry and heading over to the Westman Islands. Here you can hike on an old volcanic eruption, walk around all the cute little brightly colored houses, and eat some delicious food. So the Westman Islands would be perfect for a quick day trip, or you could even spend a couple of days there relaxing around. Next up is the Trotlaskagi Peninsula. This area is crazy beautiful with scenery. I'm talking huge mountains, fjords, and adorable fishing. This little peninsula is oftentimes forgotten about tourists because the ring road cuts it off as well. So all you have to do is take a little two hour detour to head around the peninsula and I promise you will not regret it. Last but certainly not least is one of my personal favorites, the West Fjords. I do have to admit the West Fjords are gaining in popularity but still only 3% of tourists travel to the West Fjord. So you have a pretty safe chance of still being the only people there. A road trip through the rest of yards will take you to some of the most remote and beautiful places in the whole country. Obviously, you'll be seeing some stunning fjord views, beautiful mountains, cute towns, and one of my favorite waterfalls in all of Iceland. And now you know some of the less traveled places in Iceland, so it is possible to get to some of those hidden gem places with not a lot of other people around. You are welcome. That's all for today, friends. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more helpful Iceland videos 
like this one. I'll see you next time, and as always, happy planning.